Welcome back to another video. Uh, this week we got Judge Fincher rolling in. We got court this week. I'm running a little bit late. Uh, I had to come back here and uh, check on a few things at the crib, but uh, we're going to get rolling with court today. We got a couple cases. Old Finch is going to roll his ass on out here and get in his, uh, his Tesla. See if we can uh, hobble on to the car real quick. I had a couple technical issues going on. Uh, this will be the second court calendar uh, in V3. Uh, I did record last week, but uh, I was using... Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. I was using the wrong uh, microphone at that time. I think I've double-checked it to make sure that I'm using the right one this week. So uh, I'll check that once I get over to the courthouse. Where's my uh, garage? Is that not working today? Uh, it appears not. Are we still having problems with that? That sucks. Okay. Well, uh, script is not working right now for the garages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit out the part where uh, I uh, make my way on over. Well, actually... Uh, since I'm running late, I'm just going to go ahead and head on over there. I knew some stuff wasn't working. I was trying to double check all of it before I got rolling. Uh, but that's all right. We're going we gonna to get old Finch out here. And uh, we're going to get Finch to come in through the... I don't see anybody down here. All right. So we'll pick up old Finch right here. We'll walk Mr. Finch on in. Uh, last week we had a had a guy uh, did reduce his sentence a little bit, and I uh, only gave him four extra days from his uh, long prison sentence that got reduced, and gave him four days on an ankle monitor. Uh, I was told he lasted about two and a half hours out the court on that ankle monitor, and uh, caught himself some new charges. But this week, like I said, we got some more. So uh, we got, I think we got about four. So we'll see. Good day, good day. Hoping they can hear me. Good day, good day, good day. Okay, okay. Let's get on in here and see what we got going today. All right, all right. Hi, how's it going, deputy? How you day? Yeah, yeah, you all right? You, you feeling all right? Oh. I think Cat's got his tongue. How you doing, deputy? You all right? You got you telling you boys all right today? Or, or, all right. Y'all you, 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 lay were here, me. You gentlemen, you gentlemen can't hear me. Or I can't hear you. Which which one is it? I, I, I can't tell. Oh. Well, I guess my ears is messing up. I can't, I can't hear you all. That, that's crazy. But I, I hear other stuff. Let's see. Yeah, I hear my feet and everything walking. And I hear the leather in your shoes and everything. I heard somebody turn on TV. Hold on. I think I got TV in my ears. All right. So turn that off. I think I turn what they say they can hear. Oh, I can hear him. Okay, All right. Going. Oh. We got a little baby in the courtroom. Uh, where, where, where's, where's your, where's your pappy? And your mammy? Where's your mammy? Little, little, little man. Hell no, I ain't your daddy. Uh, somebody uh, take the little baby and uh, escort the little baby on out of the courtroom. Uh, we can't have an uh, unsupervised uh, little ones in the court uh, disrupt my courtroom. Uh, so, uh, deputies, if you can remove the child and. Uh, Maybe find some find someone to uh, you know look after it. Now, I'm able to hear everyone, but those uh, deputies for some odd reason uh, I don't know why I can't hear the two of them. Uh, are you all able to hear the deputies? Yeah, I hear them. 
That is terrible. I don't know why I can't hear them, but I hear y'all. That is crazy. Well, I'm going to go in my office back here and uh, pop my head, and I'll be back out. Are you all going to be ready to uh, get court going? Yeah, Judge. Uh, well, I did get uh, my other set of ears going uh, in uh, Judicial Discordia General. And uh, if you need to, to give me a shout there in my ear, just let me know. I'll be oh, there. Well, but I'm I'm going to go back here in my office and see if I can't pop this here head of mine. Okay. Well, I, all right. How are you today, Deputy? Yeah, I can't hear you either. I guess my ears ain't liking the police good. today. To oh, wait. I hear one of you. There you go. So maybe it's just these other me? two stories. I can hear you, Deputy. This other one over here, uh, this uh, Sargente, uh, I can't hear this him at all. Yeah, I don't hear him. Speak for me, Sergeant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can hear him. Yeah, I can't hear him, but I hear you, Deputy. I didn't hear none of the other ones, uh, so I don't know what's going on. You know I'm old, so, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. My attorney hearing I, aids up. Yeah, I, I got the extra batteries in there. Anymore. I got batteries in there in my desk. Uh, let me let me let me check real quick in my head. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Speakers. Okay, uh, Sargente, maybe you can speak again, uh, Deputy Sargente. There, I don't hear your voice. I'm going to go on in here, and I'm going to see if I can't pop this eardrum. Excuse me, Deputy, I'll be right back. All right, we're back from the head pop. I'm going to start here and see if they ready. Uh, I couldn't hear anything, so let's see. All right, all right. We got new here, Nate, new batteries. Uh, what about you, Deputy? Let me see if I can hear your voice. Oh, that's weak, that's you hear me, Judge? I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, it's loud I and clear. I got fresh batteries. Uh, well, let, let me go. Uh, I, I fell down. Wait a minute. Let me go back. It's not in my eyes. Hold on. I guess that was from the load-in screen. All right, is it all cleaned up now? No, not for me. Really? Is he still, is he still messed up for you? Yeah, he's Major? still covered in blood for me. Oh, well, let's see, let's see. All right, that'll have to do for for now. Yeah, I mean, you look you almost look the same. Yeah, you yeah. look almost, almost the same, yeah. Look close enough. All right, well, uh... Guess we'll go for it again. Uh, you can let them know uh, we'll uh, court will be in session uh, uh, in about five minutes when I come out. They can all rise and all that good stuff. All right, what's, no problem. What's uh, your What's your judge's name? Uh, judge Fincher. Fincher. All right. Judge Fincher. All right, well, I'm back from flying in. Uh, I ended up having to do some alterations to the character here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep that in the video or not. Uh, I, I mean, for them, I was covered in blood and all kind of stuff. I tried to fix it, couldn't fix it. Did a little work around to get them cleaned up and sent me back to the default pad and I tried to get it fixed really quick so I think his hair is different he might not be as old looking as he was before but hey we're gonna roll with it they're waiting so uh let's go ahead and get this show on the road oh there's my seat wait a minute all right 
got some water? You 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 don't need anything else? Oh uh, no nope, no nope, I'm good I'm good I'm gonna take my seat and we're gonna get cord and session. No problem, Josh. All right, let's get on in this seat here. Your Honor, I was just informed that uh, the, the, the bus from the detention center is running a little late, uh, but I believe we got one in the courtroom. All right, all right. Well, uh, we can go ahead and uh, we'll proceed with the court cases that are on the calendar. Uh, who's here present in courtroom? Uh, we have defense here. That's who I see over there, deputy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right, court's in session. All right, Counselor, uh, what's going to be the first name on the calendar we have for today? Yes, Judge, uh, Giovanni Hendricks. Um, uh, we have uh, Mr. Dior, Austin Dior, also present today. Um, if that case could be uh, called first. All right, People versus Dior. So we'll be hearing that case at the moment. Uh, counselor, you can proceed. Uh, Your Honor, I, I think, I don't know if he's in here. I think he's in here. Okay, uh, is that is that him? Is that Mr. Dior in, in, in the red jacket there? Are you Dior, sir? Okay. All right. I'll let you get what's your counsel. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I spoke to my client earlier. Um, this case um, is a little bit problematic for us. We were hoping to resolve it um, with him pleading to uh, a tent violation. Um, my client was arrested, um, initially stopped for speeding. However, he was actually placed under arrest for not having a license. The, part, the problem with that, Your Honor, is that my client's license was taken away from him by a law enforcement officer, and it was never given back to him, including his registration and his car insurance. So mm -hmm. while he was operating his motor vehicle, although he is legally licensed, he did not physically have the license because it was taken from him by a previous officer and never given back. And that is the crux of him being arrested in connection with this case. Um, I don't have access to it. My client has made numerous efforts to try to figure out who it is that ticketed him or took his license. He's gone down and spoken with the sheriff. I've also spoken with the sheriff. He's gone down to the precinct himself to try to get it back. However, he's hit a roadblock. Um, my client at this stage appears to be that he's going to continue to get arrested because law enforcement at this moment still has his tangible physical property and that's going to be a problem. So I'm asking if the court uh, would order any law enforcement agent that has my client's uh, license, registration, insurance to provide it to him to turn it over promptly, or if the court has access to any of the, the reports, they can give us a name and this way we can go about getting um, contacting that law enforcement officer to get the license. Okay, counselor, uh, what we'll do is, uh, if one of you gentlemen, if you can uh, go ahead and check your system for his name and uh, make sure his name has license next to it uh, so he can get his driver's license. And uh, if, if you can, once you get that settled, uh, have your client uh, make an appointment uh, with judicial and now uh, we can credit him. To, uh, I believe it's $150 in the state of San Andreas for a license. So uh, once they get him squared away in their computers, uh, he can get his license. Does that sound good, Counselor? All right, Mr. Dio, did you hear that? Okay, um, you're you're okay with that? Yes, sir. So you're missing a registration for your vehicle. Correct, Judge. His license, registration, and insurance were all taken. Um, 
by that law enforcement officer and nothing was given back to him. So he can't do anything. He can't, you know, he can dr- he can't drive without being fear of being arrested, but also yeah, he sure. can't do anything with the vehicle. And if he stopped, he has no proof of ownership or even insurance for the vehicle to demonstrate he's the rightful legal owner. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, Mr. Dior, if you can flex your uh, F7 and uh, see if you can ascertain as to the name of the individual you paid those fines to, maybe that'll give you the, the law enforcement officer's name. Should possibly be under your personal invoices or or uh, somewhere along there. All right, uh, I just changed my voice to be a little louder, Mister D. Or if you can change your voice box to shouting. They couldn't hear me at a distance. Uh, that's a little better there, Mr. Dior, and hopefully you can hear me all right. Uh, are you able to see that name in your invoices, who you paid the fines to? Okay, okay, I understand. Well, uh, you may have to see me uh, sometime after court or uh, get with the Department of Justice this week and maybe we can generate uh, some new cards for you when they put in your vehicle. And uh, that way you have a physical copy when the law enforcement officer stop you out and on the streets if you have any contact. Uh, deputies, were you able to get his license in the system? Yes, yes, sir. I'm showing he has a driver's license in the system, and I'm showing um, three citations from uh, Deputy Keys, Sergeant Keys. I mean. Okay, okay, that's all right. Uh, what we currently doing the transport for our our prisoners, so I can ask him if he has okay. when he gets here. Yes, sir. We can double check see if that that uh, Deputy uh, Keys, Sergeant uh, Sergeant Keys, if he has those on him, uh, we can give those back. If not, uh, we'll have to generate some new ones for uh, Mr. Dior. But Mr. Dior, you should be all right to grab that uh, license. Uh, once we get done with it's here, uh, hearing for you, you can go out and check the the individual out in the lobby and see if you can get your license. Okay, does that settle? Now, how much money did you, uh, did you pay out in fines? Uh, we're going to be dropping those charges against you for your license. Uh, you did have a valid license. It doesn't sound like you had anything that was going to disqualify any of your driving privileges in the state of San Andreas. So we're going to be dismissing that charge against you and uh, returning those fines. So I'm going to need that dollar amount to get that back to you, Mr. Dior. Okay. Um, so as you directed that I have um, personally, um, it is 45, but over all three times that I have been stopped and arrested, it is... So you've been arrested three separate times for this incident? What was the original charges on the first stop as to why uh, you were stopped or why they took your license? Uh, 
Okay, you don't have to recall all the details. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, because they have caused you to be arrested two times after that initial contact, uh, I'm going to need to verify your charges and how much total fines you've paid to the state. And I will have to give you all that money back, Mr. Dior. It sounds like you might be getting a sum of $700,000 back to you. And we're going to be dismissing uh, your current uh, arrest and make sure that doesn't hold against you. And uh, we'll have to go in and see if we can't uh, negate uh, your original speeding charge that I believe uh, may have brought you a felony. Is that the only three arrests you've had in the state? Yes, Judge. Those, those are his only ones. Okay, well, the court's going to have to look into getting that felony off your record, uh, Mr. Dior, uh, in, in lieu of uh, any other additional findings from the court and get you squared away and get your money returned back to you. I want to apologize on behalf of the state of San Andres for the experience you've had in the good old state of San Andres. Okay, so make note of that, that uh, we're going to be dismissing all charges against DR three separate incidents. We're going to be returning the sum of seven, approximately $700,000 to this individual upon confirmation of fines paid to the state of San Andres and hopefully return of this individual's license or he get his license in front. Counselor, you have any further on this matter? No, thank you, Judge. I just wanted that uh, all that put on the record, and that my client we indicated of these charges is we indicated on the record. These are the reasons why he was being stopped and arrested, and uh, but for that, he would not have been arrested, let alone this case. Um, he would have just been given simple traffic infractions. Um, so um, I thank the court for its candor as well in trying to assist my client. In um, getting his license and paperwork back, and I think my client appreciates that as well, especially getting back the, uh, the substantial amount of fines that he uh, lost due to not having his license, but by no fault of his own. Yes, counselor, that is noted by the court. Mr. Dior, this takes care of your case, and uh, good luck to you in the future, and hopefully I don't see you in front of me again. I won't be as nice. All right, we're going to move to the next case on the calendar. All right, thank you, Mr. Dior. If you have any questions, um, Judge, is he dismissed? Yes, sir, he's dismissed. You're dismissed, okay. Mr. Dior. All right, Mr. Dior, if you have any questions, just give me a call or text. All right, thank you. Who do we have next on the calendar, Counselor? Uh, Your Honor, I believe um, the court uh, transported Mr. Tony Johnson. Uh, deputies, is uh, the inmate below or are they still in transit to this location? Okay. Um, That's right. That's right there, Judge. Okay, that's that's the gentleman in the book bag. All right. All right, we'll go ahead and hear this case of this individual counselor. I'll listen to your argument. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, my client was arrested um, on, I'm sorry, October 25th, 2024. Um, since then, he's been incarcerated. 
Um, I was looking uh, to see if we'd be able to resolve this case. I requested discovery from the people. Um, I was not able to get that. However, I did meet with my client on the date of his arrest. He retained my services, and then I've been looking into the case and speaking with him in regards. Um, my client, after speaking with him, um, has indicated that with the court's uh, uh, permission, he would like to dispose of this case today by entering a plea of guilty to felony evading. And with that, the court would promise him a sentence of uh, two-week ankle monitoring. Um, and he's aware that he's going to be on probation for that period of time. Um, however, if the court is inclined to give my client a longer period of probation, um, my client is also inclined uh, to accept that um, with the understanding that he'll be released today with the ankle monitoring probation and his guilty plea of felony evading. Okay, counselor. Uh, felony evading, that's the highest charge he's facing at this time. Is that my understanding? No, Judge. He's facing, um, let me see. I didn't, I, again, I didn't have the reports, but this is just from my conversation yes, sir. speaking with him. Um, I believe he's, he, he had possession of a weapon. Uh, he had assault against a government employee and he had felony evading. So, uh, those are the charges that I have. I don't know if there are other um, charges or higher charges, because again, like I stated, I was not able to get any of those reports. Um, but those are the ones that um, I am aware of. Um, my client is aware that uh, the court is also inclined to offer him in lieu of felony evading the possession of a weapons charge which will either make him a felon or add to his felony record, but he's also aware of that as well. So he's also inclined, if the court is um, willing to give him a plea to the weapons charges, he's also inclined to do more ankle monitoring probation, so such as four to five weeks or so on the weapons charge. Okay, and uh, I did hear a possible uh, assault against a government employee, is that correct? Correct, Your Honor. Um, I, speaking to my client, th he has, um, I would say, an argument um, for using the deadly force. However, he is aware um, of the nature and him using a weapon against uh, another law enforcement agent. However, I don't want to disclose um, the 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 legal argument yes, for uh, strategic purposes for purposes of today as to why yes, he used it. However, um, I would just say that based on my conversations with my client. Um, there, there is an argument to be made as to why he used the weapon. Okay, uh, does your client wish to uh, have that matter heard before my court, or is he looking to clear his entire caseload of charges that he's facing at this time, and uh, he's looking to get the ankle monitor for that duration? Is that my understanding, or? Correct, Your Honor. He's willing um, and looking to, to get the ankle monitoring probationary period. And uh, he's looking to plead to his uh, assault against a government employee as well. Yes, Judge. Uh, can I just confer with him very briefly just to assure that he knows what yes, he's sir. doing? All right. Yes, sir. Let's see what he got. I'll give him six weeks. If he uh pleading to the assault against a government employee, six weeks is a long ass time on that. Yes, Ron, my client is aware right. of um, the rights that he's given up. I've spoken to him brief um extensively. He knows the ramifications, he knows his rights. Um he knows um what he has given up he knows that he has a constitutional right to um challenge the prosecution to have a jury trial to put up witnesses to put up arguments however he is waiving all of those rights um with the understanding that the court is going to dispose of his case today and put him on ankle monitoring probation as uh time necessary that the court sees fit but he is aware of his constitutional rights that he is waiving um in lieu of this uh plea disposition Okay, counselor, uh, the court will accept 
your offer. Uh, we're gonna send it to him to six weeks on the ankle monitor. Uh, enter a plea of guilty on all listed charges. Uh, this subject does violate the conditions of ankle monitoring. Uh, he will be subject to uh, the entire time of his actual sentence. Understood, Judge. Is, is uh, your Mr. client Johnson, clear you on that? that? Do you have any questions for me or the judge? Okay, so you understand that you're going to be um, on the ankle monitor for six weeks. They're going to be monitoring you if there is or if there are any violations. You may be subject to rearrest and bring, being 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 bring brought back to court. You understand that as well? All right, Judge. My client has indicated to me, uh, they, in a, as well as to the court in open court on the record, his understanding of his responsibilities um, under the ankle monitor. All right. Uh, your client's going to be on the monitoring until December 11th, the 11th day of December this year, 2024 will be the date that your client is released from his monitoring. Uh, during that time, he should stay clear of obtaining any new violent felonies, especially felonies against any government employees. He will be free to leave the courtroom today once he receives that monitoring placed on him. So, uh, deputies, if somebody can take care of applying the uh, monitoring system to this individual and advise me once he has it, he'll be dismissed once he has the ankle monitor. Thank you, Judge. Uh, Mr. Dio, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Johnson, do you have any um other questions concerns anything like that okay let, let's not I, I got it i got it i got it i got it let's not say too much because whatever, whatever you're speaking and saying is going to be captured on the record so all right so just um just email me whatever you have and we'll talk there Okay, uh, somebody go ahead and apply the ankle monitor for me. Uh, you may need to step him to the jury box. all right thank you deputy all right counselor uh, your client is dismissed and he'll be able to get that ankle monitoring system removed on the 11th day of december 2024 december 24 judge december 11th the 11th day of december 2024 got it, got it. all right understood thank you judge all right, your client's dismissed. Well, court will hear the next case on the calendar.
All right, Counselor, uh, what's going to be your uh, next case that you have for the court? Um, Your Honor, I have two other cases of Mr. Yup and then Mr. Boudreau. So I'm not sure. I didn't see any of them when I first walked in, so I'm not sure if they're here today. Oh. Okay, yeah, I saw him. I just saw him now when I turned my head. Okay, okay. All right, we'll go ahead and... Did you have something? Uh, okay, they're having a different conversation. All right, uh, Counselor, you can bring uh, Mr. Yep before the court. Judge, can I have a, a second to talk to him real quick? I, um, yes, sir. All right. You come over here real quick, bro? What did you say? Did you get the cereal? Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> really quick, uh, uh, whisper real quick. Okay. Um, with regards to the anchor monitors, uh, you know that um, we have a specific place. Uh, you know, if, if I say we, I think I know what you mean. Um, we have a specific place that we put it in the emails. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you know, uh, is, um, Mr. Johnson free to go? Where would I uh, place the? Where would I get? Uh, where would I get that uh, specific ID? If you know what I mean? That, uh, so just um, just wait for the uh, deputy. They'll let you know because it didn't. It didn't I, give I, me I one. It just told me that I applied it to him. Just talk to one of them, and they'll be able to tell you. Uh, try flexing your uh, slash ankle location and see. Uh, that's what I see in. And uh, I may not be able to check it because uh, I don't have a police job. Uh, Let's see. Let me let me change it and see. Yeah. So I I place an uh, anklet location with the citizen ID and it's it's not doing anything. The only one that we're holding here is the one in the back side. Right? Uh, what's his uh, what's his name Johnson okay talk about it afterwards okay. alright bro alright be safe okay I have his ID uh where you're able to get a citizen's ID, uh, if you'd like for me to send that to you in the email. Okay, one moment. You should have that in your uh, email. You don't. You don't see him in your eyes. 
You gotta chill, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, counselor. Did your client have something to say to the court? You see what I'm saying, bro? You gotta keep your mouth shut. You gotta keep that low, bro. He's, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta chill. Okay, the court's gonna pretend and we didn't just hear that we're wasting your client's time today. Uh, counselor, uh, we'll go ahead and hear your case. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, would you mind um, shouting your voice for me, please? I'm sorry, one moment. Yes, sir, it should be better. I had to oh. switch it there for a moment. Thank you, Your Honor. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> Judge, uh, my client um, apologizes. Um, he's just a little anxious. Um, this is his, his first time being in court, and um, he's just a little nervous, so the nerves are getting the best of him, but he apologizes to the court. Uh, the court accepts your client's apology. Um, so, Your Honor, um, my client was arrested on October 23rd, um, about a literally a week ago um, on various charges. Um, this was another case where I had requested discovery. Um, however, I don't have each and every one of the specific charges that my client was um, charged with. So I don't know if the court um, would be able to indulge and let me know what the charges are. However, my client has indicated that he is willing um, to dispose of the matter. However, he would be willing to do so um, under the promise that he would be given a non-felony conviction. He is aware of options before him of community service, um, ankle monitoring, and my client is inclined to do that instead of challenging the the, uh, the case and the arrest. Um, so if the court um, does have a report of the law enforcement officers in here have a report i can look at it but um i i defer to the court um with any non-felony convictions even a misdemeanor my client is willing to take as a lesser included of the charged um crimes in the case so um if we can try to move uh in that direction um and my client would understand the rights that he is giving up if the court is inclined to make that uh disposition to him. Okay, counselor, uh, it's your understanding your client doesn't have any past felonies. Hold on one second, Judge. I just need to confirm because um, th but that was my initial understanding. Hold on one second. And uh, if one of you deputies can take a look and see if you all can at least ascertain uh, some charges of his recent arrest. Uh, the court doesn't have that in front of me at this time. Job, switch back over. So Your Honor, it's my understanding that my video. client does not have a felony conviction. Oh, no, I have no. oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, as long as he doesn't have any further uh, felonies in his past, uh, we'll take a look and see what his list of charges are, if we can get a hold of that. Thank you, Judge. And I believe one of our deputies is taking a look for that information. The defendant, uh, Mr. Yup, uh, his current arrest, uh, I believe he's facing at least one felony. Uh, he doesn't have any priors. You want to see what his current charges are on this case before the court today? Correct. And judge, just to give some context without going too much into details and um, any possible defenses, um, when my client was arrested, um, he was assaulted by other individuals um, and property of his was taken. So uh, there, there is a there is more to the story than what's on paper. Um, and my client is willing um, and, and, and 
perceived to, to want to move forward um, if he is challenging the, the uh, charges in connection with this case. However, I just want to point to the court's attention that whatever is indicated on the report, and again, I have not seen that report, there's a lot more to the story than what's written down on the piece of paper uh, before the court. Also, sir, there's, um, that was the only uh, felony involved uh, arrest. Okay, and uh, did you see what his charges were? So, assault with a deadly weapon, criminal threats, and evading a peace officer. Felony evading a peace officer. Okay. And uh, that's just one felony and two misdemeanors. Yeah. Okay. And uh, counselor uh, from the court today, uh, your client is uh, wishing to obtain what again? Um, a misdemeanor charge, Your Honor, with the understanding that he's going to be placed on ankle monitoring and or community service as the court sees fit for his position. All right, we can take the felony evading for the state misdemeanor uh, evading. Uh, we'll run all charges together concurrent. We're going to sentence your client to four weeks of ankle monitoring. If during that time your client obtains a new felony, violent felony, they will be subject to the total time of the written charges and sentence. That's understood, Your Honor. At this time, your client will have to likely get with the, the state on reducing that charge from felony to misdemeanor in the system so that he does not have any active felonies against him at this time. He'll have three misdemeanors that he will be entering a plea of guilty on three misdemeanors and an ankle monitoring time of four weeks. He understands that, Your Honor. He thanks the court for uh, the disposition. My client is aware that if he is arrested, as the court pointed out, with any additional felony convictions, he's to stay out of trouble. Um, and any fel felonious uh, further arrests are going to uh, bring him back to the court where he will face additional charges. Um, however, Your Honor, I also would like to point out that my client has uh, stayed out of trouble since he was arrested last week. He has had no other law enforcement encounters. In fact, my client is a humble citizen of of this state. He's a hardworking individual. He has his own business. Um, he takes care of his individuals, of his friends and family, and he only looks forward to putting this case behind him and moving forward with his businesses and his life. All right. The court, the court takes note of that. Uh, in lieu of your client's previous history with no contact with law enforcement, state of San Andres, he is a business owner in the community. Well, reduced to four weeks to three on the ankle monitoring and the three misdemeanors. Thank you, Your Honor. Your client will be on the ankle monitor until the 20th day of November 2024. That's November 20, 2024. Once the deputies have place the ankle monitoring system on your client he'll be dismissed and released on november 20th 2024 thank you judge um mr yup did you hear all of that that the court indicated all right wonderful um do you have any questions for me or the court all right wonderful all right so with that go ahead uh that's not an answer the court can give you any legal advice um so i think um i think what happens is if you don't have any felonies then you'd be uh eligible for a firearm um, license but that's something that you'll we can talk about afterwards but you would be eligible for a firearms license all right 
I'm sorry. Uh, did your client Simple have regression. further? Always a pleasure, uh, sir. We'll talk. Deputy, will you be needing too. his ID as well? Yes, sir. All right. One time, moment. Sir. If I may ask, uh, Judge, how do you obtain, uh, obtain the, the IDs? I used the power that the good Lord gave me to see things that others can't see with my wisdom. Okay. Okay. I got you. All right. And I uh, did the counselor step out for a moment while I was in my head. Ah, okay. Well, court will be in recession. Five minutes. Yeah. All right. We'll wait for the counselor to get back and advise him of the standings. Uh, unofficially, yes, sir, I did hear you. Uh, well, that's a little inappropriate in the court. I uh, have to leave that sort of argument. Board bar certified attorneys in the state of San Andreas, deputy. Understood. If the court addresses those legal concerns and questions about individuals directly to law enforcement, uh, you guys are able to provide the court with that information. Can't volunteer it without the court requesting. When law enforcement puts those ankle monitoring systems on, uh, is it necessary for the, the ID every single time? All right. All right, so we'll wait for him to load back in. I see where he crashed. I don't see him coming back in yet. I'll probably edit this out at this particular point. Somewhere around here and uh, pick up when he comes back in unless something happens uh, during this particular time. Oh, Chevrons, is, uh, you, that means you're a sergeant. That's correct. You like to be addressed as sergeant or deputy. I understand. I understand. Hopefully the counselor can fly back in pretty soon. I got a nice little date lined up after the court day, and I don't want to be tied up here too long. You know what I mean? I might be a little older, but I ain't, I ain't nothing on me colder. You know what I mean? This ocean still got motion, you know? Looks like as soon as the counselor flies back in, I will be able to advise him that it uh, doesn't look like his client is going to be appearing in court today. Uh, off the record, uh, some bitch is going to jail, likely, and will sign a warrant to send his ass to jail and hide his ass away. Off the record, officially. I don't know why these sons of bitches run around the state of San Andreas thinking they can break any and every kind of damn law you didn't know the man and they come to court and play like innocent little babies and we give them time and and they don't even show up to the damn courthouse. Can you believe that? Yeah, well, you know, everybody ain't right. And D, your grandpa sounds like a really intelligent man. I like him. That sounds mighty wonderful. I look forward to it. I'm going to reach out to the counselor in the Discordia and see if he's having further troubles. And if so, uh, I'll go ahead and advise him of the nature of where his uh, client, I should say, will stand. Because that son of a bitch is getting, getting a warrant. And hopefully you catch him, hunt his ass down, and bring him back before me. And I'll hide his ass away and throw away the damn cake. Okay, the, cli uh, the counselor is stating that he is going to fly back in for the information. I did tell him off the record that the little son of a bitch was uh, likely in a shooting involving Elio or somewhere near a shooting last night. He's in escape custody multiple times and, you know, real sack of shit type stuff. He's a real soup sandwich, that client. Of uh, we're interview law enforcement working last night and had contact with that Bobby guy. Uh, I was 
Alright, well, uh, I may ask if you can just give a rundown of what you remember. It don't have to be 100% factual, but if I may ask you just give a rundown of what the soup sandwich did yesterday, uh, and that is I uh, also escaped custody most of the time since he was last before the court. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'll likely call on law enforcement to give a uh, brief account uh, un informally. It doesn't have to be all, uh, you know, overly court-like. You're not testifying. Uh, the, the client isn't even here, so this is just the court and the counselor and us getting information to provide him on his uh, client. Oh, no, he just, oh, oh, damn. I believe that was him flying into the into the city i believe he's uh he should be reappearing momentarily all right welcome back counselor thank you joe sorry about that no problem all right and uh what's the next name of the client of yours next on the calendar for the court it should be the last i believe Yes, Judge Bobby Boudreaux. Um, however, I don't see him in the courtroom right now. All right. Uh, it's been brought to the court's attention, uh, Mr. Bobby, uh, upon release from the court on the ankle monitoring. Uh, Mr. Bobby has been arrested again on serious charges. Uh, it's also my understanding that uh, prison records are showing that Mr. Bobby escaped custody uh more than once it's also my understanding that mr bobby was involved in a some sort of shooting or altercation involving law enforcement last night or in recent nights uh if one of you deputies uh working during one of those nights you can inform the counselor uh informally of uh what mr bobby uh yes sir you may need to uh, change your voice to style oh yeah so we had an incident yesterday where um multiple officers were getting shot at by some unknown individuals um when the scene was clear a guy on a dirt bike pulled up and uh started shooting we pursued him and um behold you it was bobby boudreau once we uh were able to bring that uh, guy into custody uh, we looked at the records and it shows that he broke out earlier yesterday, uh, May around midday. And then we sent him back away to the prison. And about an hour or two later, when I was about to clock off, he was, uh, driving fast around the city and on his, uh, on the same dirt bike we got him on before and he had crashed out or not correction he he crashed out in his you know, um suv he crashed out in it and we took him back to prison again uh what i know right now is i believe he's still in prison at this time but i don't uh, we can't uh, yeah i haven't heard okay, okay. thank you sir thank you sir all right um, uh counselor go ahead uh, Your Honor, um, being that I have not been able to speak to my client, I did notify him and alert him about today's court appearance. It did not advise me of any further arrests um, other than the one from October 23rd, a week ago. Um, so, uh, Your Honor, I defer to the court and I understand what the court's procedures are. Um, so I defer to the court until there is a time that my client uh, would be brought to court and we can deal with the proceedings thereafter. All right, counselor, uh, I will be signing a failure to appear warrant for your client and any pending charges along with his previous case on release of monitoring. All of those things will be brought forth and heard upon his appearance before the court. Judge, just so that I can clarify, um, he was arrested. Are there records showing that he's still incarcerated or that he broke out again and his whereabouts are now unknown? Uh, with the understanding, with the information passed to the court, uh, the individual was able to be seen on the prison records that he was arrested at some point. He left the facility 
they were able to apprehend him again. He may have left the facility and returned to the facility some sort of way. Uh, however, whatever it is going on with Mr. Bobby, we'll need to get to the bottom of and Understood. May, and we may have to send him on to maximum security or we'll see how to handle that once we get all the facts brought before the court. All right, Judge. I understand, Judge. Um, I, I defer to the court with uh, whatever proceeding the court wishes to do going forward. All right. Thank you, Counselor. Well, sorry that you had to appear in court today uh, and your client is uh, out joyriding and whatever else allegedly in the city. Well, Judge, you know, everybody makes their choices and sometimes choices have consequences. Sometimes they have rewards. Um, we could only see and take it from there as to what Mr. Boudreaux is uh, doing out there and maybe there are some other mitigating circumstances that I don't know of. I haven't unveiled yet. Um, but, you know, each uh, each each person has a, has a choice. So, we can just leave it at that until he comes forward here. Yes, sir, Counselor, I understand. Well, well, adjourn court here today. After that case, uh, you're free to go, Counselor. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, uh, deputies and court staff. All right, Counselor. Well, since we're out of here, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get these here deputies to escort me on outside. Uh, All right. Have a good night, everybody. Stay safe. You as well, Counselor. Well, man, where do you find these shitheads? They find me, Judge. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I provide a service. They, they find me, but um, I can't. I can only counsel them to a certain extent, you know, and advise them. I tell them consequences, what they can face, you know, how to stay out of trouble. But listen, there's a population. There are some people who will never be arrested, never get in trouble. There are those yeah. who are. You know, always inclined, no matter what happens, no matter what intervention, they're going to get in trouble. But there's a bigger population that, depending on whatever intervention you do, they can go either way. So if you catch them early enough or you make an impact on them, you can help them differentiate which side they're going to go to. But I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'm i not sure yet which side Mr. Boudreau is uh, falling on right at this point. Well. Counselor, you ever seen one of those studies done? Uh, there's a lot of stuff on the internet. I was researching about a week ago, and you know they say those little those little kids when they get to sucking on them crayons when they're young. Uh, no, sometimes the crayons, when they bro. when they grow up, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when they grow up, you know, sometimes they're you know sort of everything ain't all there if you know what I mean. And that yeah, sounds yeah, like. Yeah. That sounds like some of your clients. I'm pretty sure it's good for the pockets, you know? Yeah, it is, you know, but it's real frustrating because you're trying to represent them in their interest and then they show otherwise. So how can I, in good faith, then come to the court and be candid with the court and say, well, my client is, you know, being a respectful businessman or something when they're out there doing quite the opposite. So it's, they make that job a little bit hard to really advocate when they're out there, you know, doing no shenanigans well, yeah i can understand that that's got to be frustrating well hopefully yeah. you can find some clients that sniff less paint and uh you know <laughs> well, all right we're gonna get on they, out they of here well, yes sir yes sir occupied though you know they keep us yes busy, sir that, so. that 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 <laughs> that keep that keeps us employed and you know keeping this good old system running in the state uh, so yeah. i understand i i appreciate each and every one of the crayon babies <laughs> yeah thanks judge all right counsel i'm gonna get out of here i got a hot date uh i was telling the deputies that i might be older but it ain't nothing colder you know oh shit type shit judge type shit yes sir yes sir all right let's go gentlemen i appreciate all right. you all Ah, right, uh, you can just make sure don't nobody try to take my wallet or anything. You know, once I get out, and uh, I'm gonna fly on out. I had some car troubles before I got here. Oh, well. All right. Man, it sure is bright out today. 
Five. How, how you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, sir. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. You had many people falling out in this heat out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't drink All water. Right. I, I see, I see. Well, you, you, you ever seen that study on the internet about, about little ones when they, they, when they're young and they, they get to sucking on them crayons? You ever seen that internet study? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, that, that's probably why you got so many people that don't drink the liquids they need to in the heat and they fall out out here. They, they, they was one of those little ones that ate on the crayons when they was babies and they become adults and they start sniffing paint. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sniffing paint is crazy. <laughs> well, all right, man. You uh, Thank you for saving lives and everything. I'm going to head out. All right. You take care. All right, gentlemen. Well, I'm going to uh, let the good Lord take me on over here on the side of the building and uh, let him uh, place me back in my bed uh, with his wonderful uh, magical powers and wisdom. So uh, I'm going to walk on over here and close my eyes uh, and uh, fly on out. I appreciate you. Be safe now, sir. All right. You guys be safe now. Don't eat no crayons. All right, so that's going to do it. Court's wrapped up this week, and uh, we'll catch y'all again next time. And uh, well, let me walk past him, see if he doesn't say anything, get away from him. But uh, we'll catch y'all next time. This Judge Fincher comes out. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, Judge Fincher, I'll catch y'all on the next go around we try to have court once a week on wednesdays uh get the cases heard from that week and uh you know get everything squared away to try to keep keep the system flowing here uh so join up if you haven't discord information is down in the description area i see y'all in dvrp if you do join up or on the next video if you've uh, stuck around this long or you follow me uh, already i should say subscribe but if you subscribe to me already i appreciate that and uh we'll be out twin